This right here is some very powerful CA glue. The only problem with it is it's very very thick. As you can see it really takes a long time for the glue to move, meaning that if I want to put something like this in a smaller bottle it will take a lot of pressure to get it out from the nozzle. And a bottle like this costs much less than these little bottles, so I had to find a solution to make it work. And as I found out there is a trick to turn your thick super glue into something much thinner or you can turn thin super glue thicker. All you need is one bottle of thick super glue and one of very thin one. And what's great about CA glue is that you can mix them together, meaning that if we now take this thick one and add some drops of the thinner one into it. So here I put actually most of the bottle in the second flask. Make sure there is no glue on your fingers and close the bottle. And now it's time to shake it around a little bit. The super glue is now much thinner, but still not as thin as this one. This is actually like water. Don't know if you can see that. So the new one is still thicker, but much more liquid than before. And we can now compare it to this bottle that hasn't been messed with. And well, it's kind of hard to see, but this one is lots more like syrup-like. So whereas this is much more fluid. We can put it in a smaller bottle to have more control and avoid ruining the nozzle. So if the smaller bottle were to try out, it wouldn't be such a waste than the bigger one. So we can just simply transfer the glue to the smaller flask, like so. Let's do quickly some branding to make it look nice. And here we have it, a nice and custom thinned super glue that has just the right viscosity that we want. Let me quickly demonstrate that this still works. Let's do a quick assembly of these paper pieces. And so, still works just fine. I hope this video helped you. If that's the case, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!